High profile mergers and acquisitions over the past few years have catapulted India and its enterprising men in the big league. Indian companies are aggressively eyeing North American and European markets, leading to major acquisitions like Tata Chorus, Hindalco Novelis, and Videocon Devu deals in the recent past. I think we're certainly ready to take on the world, and the way that we're doing it shows the world in a very real sense that we are not only acquirers but acquirers of big companies and capable of pulling it off. The stakes are increasing, but so are the hurdles. Government policies are supportive, but there is a lot that is still amiss. File moves from ministry to ministry, it goes to external ministry, it goes to home ministry, it goes to finance ministry, and then the approval is given. So if it would be a single window clearance, then it would be better for the FIIs to move fast. And at a time when other sectors apart from IT and ITES are also making their presence felt in foreign markets, India can certainly do better with more liberal policies. The mergers which happen are internal group restructurings. So if a holding company and a subsidiary need to be merged with each other, then in that case, even, the, even though the transaction is within the group, still a high court approval is required uh, for the merger, which might take around four to six months. And as Indian economy rolls on, industry experts hope bureaucratic hurdles are done away with to help companies expand the global footprint. Ronak Kotecha, Newsx, Mumbai.